So, so anyways, um, I go onto the highway and I very slowly turn the steering wheel and drift to the right of the highway. Kind of like what I seen a, a police officer do on the movie from, from what I can remember uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre where the police officer has picked up these um, hitchhikers in Texas and he, he makes the um, the wheels of, of the of his police car go go just barely off the shoulder and kick up some dust some dust you know what I'm saying I don't actually go off the shoulder but I go I, I, I go on the edge of the highway and um, and then I go right back on, onto the center of the highway okay so my strategy is this and I'll tell everybody I won't tell everybody do not try this at home fuck no dude I'm gonna tell you exactly how to pull this Houdini fucking James Bond type shit off dude so basically how I pulled it off was this I summoned my positive spiritual help helpers to back me up okay and I prayed to God just like all on the movie Saving Private, Private Ryan I prayed to God to back me up um, and I thought of this book called God helps those who help themselves so I had all my spiritual helpers I called on to back me up and plus I, I used my own critical thinking knowledge in the mix of this as well now this friend that I used to be friends with he said that um, he drove a van head on into a brick wall at 70 miles an hour and not only did he survive but nothing happened to him at all i went by this one book called the art of effective living and it says pretty much that you don't want to be too cautious but you don't want to be not cautious enough okay there now 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 i've kind of learned when i was working at this um air conditioning unit uh fac factory back in kansas that um if you're working on uh, if you're working on, if you're working on that job or or any job for that matter and let's say that you're in a rush to get home and so you rush making the last product or so and the fact that you rushed it so much you compromised your own safety and you got injured so i made sure to not compromise my safety and um i i i knew this one book called heaven and earth by james van prog which says that people according to this source it says people have been known to sur to survive war because of how confident that they were so i tried to be as confident as i possibly could and project that as much as i possibly could as well summon confidence all my critical thinking knowledge and all my positive spiritual helpers put that into play and into the mix as much as i possibly could now um so basically um i can see on rare occasions because this, this is out in the middle of nowhere i could see on rare occasions a car would come at me whoa, whoa let, let, let me back up before before I go, before I see the first car come at me um I mimicked what what happened in that scene in the movie Titanic when the Titanic ship was going down 
And that one dude grabs um, two ends of um, one of those electrical power generators or, or whatever they, they, they were. And, the, and, and uh, he short circuits out the power of the ship. And the way the lights went out was like this, as I can remember. And so um, I, I, I searched for and finally found, after, uh, after about four moments or so, give or take, the, um, the, 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 the lights um, for, the, for the ambulance. And I fl flicked those things on and off. Kind of like how it was on that movie. I turned them all the way off for a few moments, about like four moments, give or take. And then I turned them all the way back on. And I see this vehicle coming right at me. I can see his headlights. Okay. So I use what safety measures I have to put in place and I put them in place. So when I drive, I drive in the center of the highway. And when I see this vehicle coming at me with his headlights, and, and mind you, as stupid and crazy as I seem, I am highly intelligent back then and more highly intelligent even these days. But I act like I'm, I, I don't have a fucking, uh, a lick of sense in my fucking brain, which I got more sense than your average fucking bear. You know what I'm saying? And so when this car is coming right at me, I, I turn on my turn signal to the right. Cause, cause he's, he's in the, um, he's coming right at me in the, um, in the slow lane. Okay. I turn my turn signal on to the, to the right and he stays in this lane. I let him know that I'm going to the right. So there's no question my intentions. So don't go to my right, to my right or your left. Or I'm gonna slam right head on, or I'm gonna slam right head on into your dumb ass and kill us all, kill kill us both, possibly even that last police officer too. I don't give a fuck, dude. So as I do that, let my intentions be known that um, I, I'm I'm seemingly gonna stay to the right. I actually very very slowly turn the steering wheel to the left and I play chicken with that dude coming right at me and I run his ass all off the fucking road and and th this happens about one or two other times and um this is on highway I-90 and I see I see this exit for the highway going south and I take that exit going south this is by Crow Indian Reservation and when I'm driving to the right, I want to test how far I could push this motherfucking vehicle like I'm driving in a NASCAR race. I want to see how fast I could drive this motherf motherfucker around this turn. And it's not a sharp turn anyways, but I want to see how far I can push this motherfucker even to the point of possibly rolling that motherfucker. I did not give a fuck, dude. That's how bold and confident I was. And um, when I was hitchhiking in um, just west of, of fucking uh, Denver, this one dude that picked me up in his, in his car, he would fucking speed past everybody. And when he would go up and down the mountains, he would fucking hot ride that motherfucker so fucking fast to keep from uh, rolling or whatever, if he drove the vehicle too fast, which he did, he would just let, let the car drift a little bit to the outside so he didn't wreck or roll over or, or whatever. And, and, that, and that's what I did. I, I, would, I would fucking stomp on the gas and and uh, fucking uh, drift a little bit outwards, you know what I'm saying? And that fucking ambulance was getting a little bit fucking tipsy as, as that song goes, you know what I'm saying? But I did not roll that motherfucker yet, you know what I'm saying? But we were not fucking done yet with this fucking uh, chase. You know what I'm saying? And so, um... 
So, as word spread more and more about this police chase, they finally shut down um, that part of the highway. And, um, cause I could, I could see I'm driving for a, a, a couple of more, for a few more minutes and there's no more cars coming at, at, at me, you know what I'm saying? And so I noticed, <clears throat> I noticed this other cop car fucking just streaming past me like a fucking flying jet ready to intercept my ass you know what I'm saying on the other side of the highway uh going the right way on the highway I was going the right uh, I was going the wrong way on the highway now I know from driving a four-wheeler and hearing about uh that that um if you go over land you want to go over it at a slow rate of speed if you have not gone over it yet because you could possibly hit a pothole and wreck uh, the the the, the four wheeler and wreck yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and I know when I was driving for Swift that um, that I've I've actually gotten the, that uh, company owned Swift Swift truck stuck in a gravel parking lot. So, for one thing, I'm not going to attempt to cross the median, the, the median to get on the other side of the highway. For one, it's too dark to even, I, I don't know if the ground is muddy, I don't know if it's got potholes, and it's even too, it's, it's pitch black dark out. This is out in the middle of nowhere and there's no streetlights. So I can't even size up the situation as far as that goes to even do that. I don't know if that police police uh, officer streaming past me like a jet. I don't know if he's trying to play reverse psychology with me or not. But uh, I was not going to chance it driving in, in that medium. And, 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 and mind you... Um, At the end of this police chase, um, the the police officer behind me, he does this technique that I heard on, on a crime show of police chases, where if if the driver of a stolen vehicle is going too fast, the police officer will back way off to make the driver more relaxed and not potentially drive so crazy. So. He drops down his speed. And in chess, as in poker or martial arts or anything and whatnot, a good strategy is to make your opponent think that he is winning. So the police officer is making me think that I'm winning. And so I make him think that he is winning at making me think that I'm winning. So when he drops down his speed, I drop my, down my speed. And then, later, I fucking hit the gas straight down to the fucking, I hit the fucking pedal straight down through the fucking floorboard and go all the way up to like, to like uh, 100 miles an hour. And then I drop down my speed just a little bit under 100. Because, because right after that police car fucking streamed past me like a fucking military fucking jet, I knew it was only a matter of time, judging by him doing that, and also from the fact that they shut down the highway, that um, it was only a matter of time. Judging by that predictable pattern of behavior, that, the, that, that another police officer was going to shoot out those next set of spike strips. And sure enough, here's that fucking police car. I see him. Uh, I see him ahead of me to my right. We're going to continue this here in a bit. Bear with us. Cut.